it's us. <laughs> Yo, it's Palm Playboys. Welcome back to another video, man. It's 9.20 in the morning. Your boy's heading off to work. You feel me? I got my Zuvi merch on. Shout out to everybody who copped. Um, I did do a drop at the beginning of this year in January. And I uh, sold out these shirts. And I sold out, sold out some jackets. So, yeah, man. Shout out to everybody who copped that. Really appreciate everybody's support. I forgot to even mention that to you guys. But, uh, yeah, bro. <coughs> you guys wanted a breakdown video. I asked on Instagram and I asked in the YouTube community. And a lot of you guys really want a, a breakdown video, bro. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, man. So, yeah. Dusty is, you know, driving pretty smooth. I don't know if you guys can see the condensation, bro, but it's super, super hot in Florida. And every time you turn your AC and you're like in some type of sunlight, you see the condensation coming out your AC vents, which is pretty cool. But, and uh, by the way, I still haven't fixed that exhaust leak. It is terrible. But even though it's hot as hell in Florida, um dusty like cooling temperature has been amazing bro like when i say amazing i mean like low 170s um the highest i've ever seen it go was 190. and that uh that's that's actually not bad bro look at that bro see that 179 and i'm idling you see you see the intake temps it's hot as shit, boy. Yet, Dusty is just cold as hell, bro. Oh, man. I, I'm, I've been itching to do a pull so bad. <coughs> but, um, I'm just waiting for the time that I can go to the dyno. But, bro, I've been itching, 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 itching. Like a crackhead. Alright, it's been like eight hours since the last clip, bro. Your boy finally got off of work in my vibrating ass knife gen that I love so much. Look at that oil pressure, bro. The oil pressure right there. We're gonna be heading over to the spot. So I'm gonna do this little breakdown video for you guys. The spot that I've been going to lately. Um, yeah, man, let's head over there. Let's go. get into this build breakdown on dusty um nothing really much has changed exterior wise that you guys don't know about everything on the car is exactly the same from when dusty originally blew up until now nothing changed but stuff needs to be changed as you guys can see but motor wise a lot has been done so as you guys know the knife gen si's come with the k24 z7 this motor that you guys are looking at right here is not a Z7. Huh? The heart of Dusty is a K24Z6 out of a, I don't even know, a thing like a 2012 CRV. Um, yeah, man. So if you guys didn't know, you can run a CRV motor inside your knife gen, bro. Um, all thing you need to change is your knock sensor and I believe your timing chain cover. So I'm going to start with everything outside of the motor. Um, then we're going to go into everything inside of the motor. So outside of the motor, man, we got a max speed turbo kit with a Pulsar turbo on the back of the head of this motor. Um, the size of that turbo is a 3576 with a 8 point with a 0.82 AR housing. Uh, as you guys can see, I have a nice little Turbo Smarts blowout valve. That's the race part one. Those sound immaculate, bro. I'll put some clips up so you guys can hear it, but that crap sounds great. Not. Next to that, we have the wastegate that's behind the motor that you obviously can't see, but that is a, I think it's a Turbo Smart 40 mil wastegate or 45 mil, 43 mil, something. It's one of the 40s, you feel me? You feel me? So I want to address this before anybody asks in the comments. The reason why I stayed with the same size wastegate as stock motor is because there is no need for me to upsize the wastegate. I mean, yes, it'll give me a lot of headroom, but then again, um, once you upsize the wastegate, you actually, you know, you decrease the spool time. Unless you run some super, super, like, I don't know, big old springs or something like that, that you freaking do a wastegate at 16 PSI, 14 PSI. 
But uh, yeah, this motor is not going to be making 700, 800 horsepower. I mean, the motor, not the car. Maybe the car will do it one day. You feel me? Maybe one day. Maybe one day. But the motor is not going to be touching that power go or power number. Um, so I stay with the same size wastegate that comes in the max speed kit. Um, I believe the wastegate spring is an 8 PSI spring or 9 PSI spring because that's what the wastegate is. Um, yeah. Only reason why some people upgrade their, their, their wastegate is because they have a sidewinder kit and a turbo sits on the side of the motor and you, you deal with boost creep issues or they just upped it because, shoot, beats me, bro. I don't know. I don't know why they upped it. They could have just stayed with the same size like me, but yeah. We have a stock 8th gen RBC manifold, non-ported, just stock. Um, I removed all, the, well, I had Renardo remove all the PRL stuff. Except for the throttle body spacer, but he removed the plate that goes onto the head of the motor. We also have to cut the RBC to fit this track tough RBC bypass. We also got this K2, and I don't even know what it's called, but like the water neck spot. This part of the motor on every K24Zs are terrible. They're hideous. But yeah, we got that K2 right there to clean up this little area. Um... That's about it for like the appearance of the motor. Nothing else has been done. Now we're gonna talk about the insides of it. We about to get in here. Hey yo. But yeah, we about to get in here. Um, so we're gonna start from the head and go to the block. And I know y'all like head. Wink wink. Um, so <laughs> all right, let me let me chill out with these jokes before I get demonetized. So for the head, bro, we got Super Tech uh, springs retainers. Um, they're for the K24Zs. I don't know if there's a difference from the others, but if you go on four piston, they literally are specified for these motors. Actually, if you go on any website, they're literally specified for these motors. And I don't know why. So if you can leave a comment down below explaining why we have our own special special uh, springs and retainers, please leave down below, because that makes no sense to me. We have for, bro, why can I not say their name? We have for Ferreira for valves, um, the 600, no, 6,000 series. I don't even know what those are good for. I don't even know what the difference is. Ronaldo told me to buy it and I bought it. But yeah, we got those in it. Um, what else? Stock Z7 cams for my old K24Z motor. If you guys want to go buy that, let me know. I have the block. It does have a, like a little notch in the like bottom of one of the one of the sleeves because I did I did blow a rod. So yeah, if you guys want that block, let me know. You definitely gonna have to get a sleeve and honed. But let me know. I'll sell it to you guys for really, really, a really, really good price. Um, after that, I need to start getting off topic. But after that, for the head, everything else is normal. Nothing else is done. Um, block. We have Wisco Pistons. Shout out to Wisco. They sponsored the build, man. You feel me? Yo, boy got sponsored. Yes, sir. Shout out to Wisco for the Pistons. They're 11 to 1 Pistons. Death for the rods. We have Speed Factory H Beam rods, man. I seen some people make some jam on those, so I have no gut feeling about those rods. I seen somebody make 800 on those rods, and the motor lived for a while. Not in the knife gen, not in the knife gen, but in another K series. So I, I'm not really too worried about those. We also got the Type S oil pump. Um, we're also running the Type S oil pump kit from K Miata, I believe that's who they are. I don't really know the brand. I'm gonna put the brand name up here so you guys can see. But shout out to them. They they actually allowed me to pick out parts of their kit for my kit because PRL does not let you do that from what I heard. But yeah, shout out to them. Um, hopefully they don't see this video and hopefully they don't stop doing it because I heard that they was kind of getting a little mad that people are buying their kit because it's cheaper than PRL and it wasn't going on Miatas or FRSs. But I don't know how true that is. I just heard it from somebody and I'm just saying it back to you guys. So don't tell nobody you heard it from me. For the trans, we have uh, BF third and fourth. First gear and second gear is from the EP3. That includes the main shaft, obviously. Um, synchro, we got the synchro. Ah, we got the brass synchro set, one through five. Um, everything else is stock in there. Nothing else has changed. The car feels amazing, bro. That gear ratio is close to, I believe, the gear X ratio, and it feels amazing, bro. Like the the going through the gears feels awesome. I can't wait to do a pull. When I'm finally done and rev this car out to 87 or 86 or whatever the car stops making power at, you know, Yoshi's going to figure that out. But, bro, I cannot wait to do that, bro. 
So since we're here, I might as well talk about the little accessory things that I did to the motor as well. If you guys didn't watch my fuel system video where I changed out the fuel pump, all the yada yada the lines, um, I did also add a fuel pressure sensor. Um, the reason why is because I would like to see my fuel pressure in the car when I'm driving. I always had a fear of my fuel pressure dropping and I'm about to do a pull and I, you know, I fry a, a piston or something. So I, I added that as a cool little feature. And the kit I made was literally less than 20 bucks. So for the fuel setup, we have 1300cc alpha injection clinic, injectors. Then we got a 6am feed to a 6am return. All the way back to the tank. Inside the tank is a 535 Walboro wall fuel pump. And um, somewhere around this area is a fuel filter that has a 10 micro filter inside. Just, you know, make sure I, everything that's coming to the engine is clean because from the last set of injectors, well, the same set of injectors, when I got them clean, I was told by Skyler, the owner of uh, Alpha Injection, that the injectors had metal in it. And that is not good. <laughs> it's actually so wild to be calling this car a daily driver because if you guys remember from day one when I started this channel, I said my plans on this car. And look, I freaking did it. All right, so I believe I give you guys a rundown on literally everything that's been done to the motor, transmission, fuel system for Dusty, bro. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned until we, you know, take it to the dyno. Um, I'm trying to schedule everything out right now, but bro, she's ready, bro. She's ready. I want to see how much power she's going to make. I know you guys want it too. So uh, yeah, man, stay tuned for more. Like, comment, subscribe, follow your boy on Instagram, underscore got the soda. Head to the merch site, www.zuvigarage.com. And your boy's out. Peace.